With the skins in Star Wars Battlefront 2, the first question that crossed my mind is, are hitboxes larger? I know some of you have asked this as well, and today we're going to answer that question. Also, there's a new map rotation out today, and we'll cover all that next. Welcome back. This week was going to be God of War, but I haven't been able to play as much as I'd like this weekend, and there's a burning question that needed to be answered. Are hitboxes larger for some of the alien skins than the default one? We all know the officer skins can have larger heads, but we'll talk about that here in a second. Also, today, there's new map rotation on the servers. This is a server-side update, so there's no need to download anything, and hopefully, we'll see less Kashyyyk and more Death Star. Before we get into it, if you enjoy this video, there's several ways you can show your support. You can hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe, or you can support this channel on Patreon. We do new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and streams at 8 p.m. Central on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all about community here, so everyone is welcome to join us and play during the streams. Come join the Greeny Weenie Brigade if you're on the PlayStation 4. Next, check out our friends at StarWarsGaming.net. It's a great resource for the community and provides us with all the news of the day. They also release a weekly newsletter, which is Frontlines, and it comes out on Sunday and will recap the week for you, and there's a link in the description down below. For the question on skins, we had to go into Arcade to see if the boxes were bigger so we could have a controlled setting. Let's pause it right here. As you can see, we have the new skin on the top of the screen and the original model on the bottom. The profile of the Duras skin is definitely larger than the default model, and the red bar is at the same point on the wall to show the difference. When it comes to hitboxes, however, everything above the red line does not, I say again, does not register as a headshot or a hit. The new skins do not increase the hitbox of the classes, and this has its pros and cons. The pros is that it allows more freedom to add the different races of the galaxy without it affecting the gameplay at all. The hitboxes are still the same, regardless of what's around them. In turn, it doesn't punish anyone for using the skin. The cons of this is that even though you may think you should have landed a headshot, you've missed completely. This can be really frustrating, especially as a specialist trying to snipe, especially if you just see the top of the head. Which another con is even though it's not in the hitbox, the profile for the Duras skin is much larger, making it easier to see over objects or if against a wall, it does block a pretty large portion of the screen. Now that we know that parts of the head are not included in the hitbox, does it affect the aim assist at all? If you are near the target and aim down sights, it snaps to the closest part of the target's body if you have aim assist on. If you are near the head of the Duros officer skin, does it snap to the hitbox or does it just snap to the skin? We tested this as well and the aim assist will snap you to the hitbox. It actually snaps you to right between the eyes, which is just kind of sadistic, so there's no downside to really using the skins when it comes to hitboxes at all. In other news, last week we were informed that starting today, the 23rd of April, the map rotation for the game modes will be changing. This is great if you are starting to search with more than three people. The majority of the times it will put you in a new server starting you on Kashyyyk. Being that I hate Kashyyyk, it really makes me wonder if I want to invite people to a party or not if I'm not streaming. However, now that that's going to change, for Galactic Assault, we'll be starting with Takadana, Starkiller, and Yavin 4 before going through the rest of the maps. I'm super excited since now I'll get to play Yavin, which is my favorite map a lot more. And I actually do like uh, Starkiller and Takadana. I know Takadana is probably not a very popular one, but I enjoy it quite a bit. But it's not just Galactic Assault that's changing. Heroes vs. Villains will be starting Naboo, Tatooine, then Hoth. Strike is Death Star, Endor, and then Naboo, and Blast will be starting on Crate, Naboo, and Tatooine. I didn't really see anything for Starfighter, but for everyone else, you'll start seeing different maps at the start of your rotation. That is all I have today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in-game. <laughs>